What's going on guys? If you read that title, you know it's time for my October 2018 video game pickup video. And I didn't really think I was going to splurge this month that much, but 11 games later, and that tells a different story. Now I picked up a lot of these after a long night on eBay, which part of me's not proud of, part of me's very proud of for the deals I got and the games I picked up. Now I got some Super Nintendo games, two Saturn imports, a Switch game I've been waiting for, and four PS4 games. Now without further ado, let's look at the first game. Now, coming from that long night on eBay, I picked up Final Fantasy 2. Now, I don't really know much about Final Fantasy 2, aside from the fact that Cecil's the main protagonist, and I think it's Final Fantasy 5 over in Japan. And I was told by my friends who have played this game that I'm going to like it. It's Final Fantasy back in the 16-bit era, and it's a very, very fun game. The next game I picked up is Secret of Evermore. Now, I love Secret of Mana, and I know it's not really along the lines of the same type of game, even though the engine looks very similar. This game's apparently about a, a kid and his dog that get transferred into a different world. Um, I'm not really sure what it's about, I'm going to be honest, um, but I'm looking forward to playing this one. The cover art seems kind of cool. So, yeah, Secret of Evermore. Now, the next game. I've been a fan of this series since I played the third and the fourth iteration. And I've always been told the second one is definitely a game to play. And that's Breath of Fire 2. Now if this game is anything like the other games in the series, Breath of Fire is pretty much about dragonborn people. who um, They're pretty much humans that have the ability to turn into dragons and breathe fire. At least that's what the third and the fourth were about. I'm not really sure what Breath of Fire 2 is about. But from the reviews I've read, people love this game. And this one also came with a cool little dust cover to it. Um, shout out to whoever Joe is who owned this dust cover in this game beforehand. But Breath of Fire 2, I'm looking forward to playing you. Now another game I picked up for the Super Nintendo is a game I've heard nothing but beautiful things about. The cartridge label is a little beat up, but that's Super Castlevania 4. Now I love the old school Castlevania games. I specifically love Symphony of the Night, which is where it brought into like that Metroidvania type style. But Super Castlevania 4, I've heard awesome things about. I'm looking forward to playing this. A part of me thinks this is the one I heard was kind of a rehash of the first game, like a reimagining. Uh, but I guess I'll find out when I get to it. And that's all for my Super Nintendo games. Now let's go to the one Switch game I picked up this month. And it's a game from a series that I've loved since I was a child. And that's Mega Man 11. Now, this brings back Mega Man to a sort of 2D style um, that I think we all kind of wanted because Mega Man's been a little MIA in recent years. And to get this game for the Switch, I feel like it's probably the best way to get it because you could play it in handheld and in dock mode. And just bringing this on car rides, I think it's going to be feel fun. It's going to be cool. And it's Mega Man. Mega Man, the stages aren't in particularly long. You can get through them at least in the other games, real quick, as long as you know what you're doing, the boss fights aren't really time-consuming. And overall, if this plays, like the other Mega Man games in the series, I've beaten one through ten. Yeah, I did, because I bought the Legacy Collections, and I went through all of them. And Mega Man 11 is definitely the right step to be taken. Uh, I'm happy Capcom's kind of brought back the series, and I'm looking forward to playing this one, especially because it's Mega Man's 30th anniversary. Now, let's talk about the two Saturn imports I got. First off, I got a game called Deep Fear. Now, Deep Fear, to what my understanding is, it's very similar to a Resident Evil type game, except you're on a ship, I believe. Um, I thought I was going to have an issue playing this game but I found out that most of the voice acting if not all of it's in English and the menus are pretty much easily to go through and I also just kind of like how Japanese Saturn games are and just Japanese I remember Dreamcast games were like this too they come with like a spine card uh, the, this came with the manual it came with all the discs and they're all in beautiful condition just even the case seems a little different than like the dull disc cases we got here in America now the second game, this is going to be the game I probably need to learn Japanese to play. But it's a game I felt like I needed to add to the collection. And I bought the limited edition version of it. And that is Police Knots. Now this is a Hideo Kojima game that, to my understanding, it's like a graphic novel almost. Um, 
The limited edition version came with like a little art book, which I think is a little cool. And, you know, I am lucky enough that my Saturn can play imports, which isn't that hard to do if anyone wondering. I have a memory card plus, you just gotta plug it in, it boots up the game. Um, but I'm looking forward to kind of playing this in some way, shape, or form. I know they do have fan translations for it, but I kind of want to learn the language just so it's a lot easier probably to play um, without having to bring up a translator all the time. But I know this game is highly regarded as a cult following, and I figured I need to get this, I need to play this, and at least try to figure out what's going on. Now, on to my last set of games I got. For the PlayStation 4. Now, first and foremost, earlier in this month, WWE 2K19 came out. Now, this game was a guarantee I was getting it this month. And I only say that because every year since I was 9, I've bought the WWE yearly games. And AJ Styles on the cover of this one. This brought back the showcase mode. It actually has a story in my player and my career. So, I figured this is probably going to be the best iteration. I've played a little bit of the game. I'm loving it so far. It has a lot of different mechanics. But I have such a huge backlog of games that I'm just kind of playing everything as I can. Um, so, yep, that's WWE 2K19. And then, I picked up Assassin's Creed Origins. Only because I wanted to pick this up last year, but I didn't really have time to play it. Or the money to play it as much. Um, I pretty much have every Assassin's Creed main console game to this point. And I've heard Origins is a fantastic game. They kind of changed the formula of what I was used to for Assassin's Creed. I haven't played this one yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Now with that being said, also this month, I picked up Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now Odyssey is the sequel to Origins, and it kind of, to my understand, follows this new path of Assassin's Creed. And I've also heard this game is fantastic. Um, I don't really know much about it. I know I think it takes place in Rome. So I'm looking forward to playing this. I'm looking forward to seeing what the new kind of evolution of Assassin's Creed has and what it's brought to the table. Because I love the old Assassin's Creed games and I love the modern day stories which they've kind of been lacking on. Now the last game I picked up this month and it's kind of heavy in the case. It came out today. I don't really know what's in this that's making it so heavy. But that's Red Dead Redemption 2. Now I played the original Red Dead Redemption for the first time last year on my PlayStation 3 and boy was I blown away. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2, as according to IGN, just got a perfect 10 out of 10 rating. I'm looking forward to playing this game. I don't know if I'm going to crack this open, but I probably am before I finish the other games I'm playing, just to see how awesome this is. And I'm looking forward to just how good this game is going to be. It, it is PlayStation exclusive for certain content. Uh, play select online content first on PlayStation. It's exclusive for 30 days. It's also two discs. Whoa, okay. Maybe that's why it's so heavy. 105 gigabytes minimum. Well, damn. The fact that this is two discs is wild, because I've never seen a PlayStation 4 game on two discs. Shout out to Rockstar for making what so far apparently is a masterpiece, and I can't wait to play it. So, guys, that's my video game pickups for October 2018. I got some Saturn games, some Super Nintendo games, some PlayStation 4 games, and a Switch game. If, we, if you have played any of them before, leave your thoughts down below about what I picked up. Uh, if you have any suggestions of how I should play those Saturn imports kind of easily for an American who doesn't really know Japanese at all, um, or if just opinions on any games I picked up. As always, thank you for watching this video. Like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, go check out all my other videos. Until next time, guys, that's been the month of October for video game pickups. See you next month.